Hi, and welcome to Wednesday with Wayne. Hey, I wanna thank you. This is just a small token of what you've given. We have an entire room filled with sleeping bags and blankets and clothes, and big thank you. It's gonna change some people's lives. Today, I wanna to share with you several statements made by Jesus and other big characters in the New Testament that speak to us about the power and effectiveness of working together in unity. Now, th this impresses me because we're about to work together with five other churches to present the gospel of Jesus Christ, why Jesus came as a baby to our community. Well, well, the first two statements come from Jesus. Jesus is in the upper room with his disciples. As far as the disciples are there concerned, they're there to celebrate the Passover. The Passover was a bit like Christmas. It had a, a religious part to it, but also had a family friend feast part to it. And Jesus and his disciples, in fact, just about the entire nation of Israel is sitting down for the feast. It's a baked dinner. And as they're eating this baked dinner, they would tell and reenact to some level the uh, exodus from Egypt, Egyptian slavery, into the promised land. And they, they talk about this. And that's what the disciples are thinking about. They're thinking back. It's just Jesus isn't thinking back. He's looking forward. He's looking forward to a death he's about to endure. A death, the price he's going to pay, it's going to be horrible, but it's going to liberate humanity from sin. It's going to appease the wrath of God. And this will be his last teaching, in fact, before his death. And I don't know if you've ever been with someone with their, just before they pass away, but the words they say, they're pretty powerful. They're very powerful. And he tells us how much we should love one another. In fact, he says it all in the prayer. This is the first statement. I pray, Jesus, that they will be one, just as you and I, God the Father and Jesus, are one. Jesus is saying when Christ followers work together in unity, it'll create a vortex where people don't, who don't follow Christ will say, I like what I see. Not only do I like what I see, I'd like to be a part of what I can see. Well, that leads me to statement number two. Is Jesus says, I have given them the glory you gave me. The purpose of God's glory, the purpose of God's presence in our life isn't to, to make us proud or arrogant or opinionated or stubborn. It's to make us more loving. When unbelievers like what they see in us, they'll listen to what we have to say. Well, that takes me to statement number three. Jesus has died, he's risen from the dead, and he's returned to heaven. The disciples have been consistently at each other's necks. They saw each other's competitors, oh, but not anymore. They, they wanted to see who could be topped off, but not anymore. Now they're praying for each other. And as they're praying for each other, we're told the meeting place shook, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they preached the word of God with boldness. Division creates fear, but unity removes it. A unified church gives us all the power and courage we need. And then statement number four, all the believers were united in heart and mind and they felt that they, what they owned was not their own. And they shared everything they had. It's just fantastic the way we're sharing this with, with the city of Brisbane this week. The early church proved that when God's people were united in heart and mind and they share, everyone's needs are met. I've heard it said you can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. Jesus died to unite us, not divide us. You won't find a place of bigotry or preferred treatment at the foot of the cross. Hey, that's my thoughts for Wednesday of Wayne. Now remember, keep praying. We want fine weather for Sunday for our community carols, and we still need half a dozen workers. Need some people for the jumping cars, on serving fairy floss and selling drinks, even serving food. If you can help, give Terry a call. Send us an email, send us a text message, 